hey yo, it is I the Great Taco. Here's a little dude. <laughs> so initially today's video was planned to be um, a mock review redux, but I couldn't decide on who to do. And on top of that, I built this old dude um, Prismai last night. So I thought, I want to do a video on him. He's done, pretty much. Might change him soon, but you know, for now, he's finished. Now the whole basis behind this mock was the fact that I wanted to use these teal pieces, which I got from the pick -a brick wall in January. Um, then I wanted, I wanted to make a teal mock that was bionicle, but I don't have any, I don't have a way to attach these to anything, so I decided I would use blue as well, in case I couldn't figure out a way to do that, and then I ended up using this Von Nebula thing, and it kind of just went from there. Also, his feet are extremely large. So, yeah, this is going to be a shorter video, but I don't care. It's going to be fun. So, I'm going to start off, I mean, his, actually, his, his arms and legs are exactly the same, aside from the ends. So, I just used a CCBS bone and gray, like the kind of, that's like a knee, so you can't move it side to side. And then the, the end, or the shin, and the forearm are both blank because they're black and it works and the foot is just a rockshi foot and the hand is just you know hand connector i didn't give him fingers because i didn't think it was necessary the weapons or whatever you want to call these are robo rider wheels they are each different i don't know exactly what these are supposed to be from or whatever but if any of you know Feel free to tell me. But yeah, they're just gonna spin. You can't roll with them, but imagine it'd be just like, just like kind of throw them or something, I don't know. And the head is actually really simple. I wanna remove it so that you can see it. It is extremely simple. I used a, a three long axle, and that's the stud on the end to add the this transparent orange transparent neon orange pyramid looking piece and i have them in clear as well they i think they originally came in this color or silver or something like that but they are a nice piece and that's actually why this character this is where the name comes from is prismi so prism i you know <clears throat> stuff like that then the von nebula piece this is the only one of it i have and i didn't know how else to use it so here it went and then the back of it is pretty simple as the gear half bushing and then the hand connector for the neck that was weirdly difficult to attach um yeah aside from that that's like pretty most basic stuff down then i have the back thing i don't even know what these would be called they're not wings but they're not really and i don't know what they are just they just look cool and I'm actually, here, I wanted to assemble these as well, I'll show you the technique I used to attach them on both sides like that. I used an illegal technique, I don't care that it's illegal, I like it, where you put pins into the bottom, then you simply attach it on top, and you get this really nice closed shape that, like, kind of just works. You just completely studless, and looks very nice. Also use friction arrows to make these longer because they don't quite line up, so didn't work as well as I thought it would, but eh, not super worried about that. I imagine in universe he would kind of, kind of be a menace to society. Just overall be annoying. Like not be an actual destructive menace, just be kind of really, really annoying. I don't even know what he's gonna do in my lore yet. He's just gonna be there probably. But regardless, that is just about it. <laughs>